In this mission, you are going to build and program your own pet. The pet can be happy, scared, or sad. It will react to what you do. Maybe you know them, Furbies. Cute toy pets that can sleep, make noise, and react to what you do. Well, inside each of those pets, there is a microcomputer, a computer that directs the eyes, the sound, actually everything the pet does. This microcomputer has been programmed with code, code that consists of a series of instructions. But to be able to react to you or to its environment, the pet needs sensors. With a sensor, a machine or robot picks up information from its environment. You could compare it with your eyes. You see things and you react to it. Your nose smells things. Or your mouth. You taste something and you react to that. In this mission, you are going to build your own digital pet. First, you choose the micro pet that you want to build. Or even better, draw one yourself on the empty example paper. Cut out your micro pet staying on the indicated lines and also cut out the two circles for the eyes and the area for the mouth. Now you can decorate it with colors, stickers, glitter. Make it as pretty as you want to. Then fold all the edges and glue it together with glue or tape. Attention! Do not glue the top part, otherwise you cannot insert the micro bit later. Your turn. All done? Great! While your micro pet is drying, we are going to take a look at the code for your micro pet. I have already written the code and I will explain to you what I have made. Then you can adjust it for yourself or place it on your micro bit directly. When we're all done, you can put the micro bit inside the paper body. The A and B buttons are the eyes and we are going to show the mouth with the LED lights. The pet will react to your actions. If you set it on the table, it will smile. The pet gets sick very easily, so if you swivel and twist and turn with it, it becomes sad. Are you holding it upside down? Then it even becomes scared. It will also become scared if you start shaking it. Then, if you carefully put it down, it becomes happy again. To accomplish all of this, my code consists of three sets of blocks of code. 1. On the left hand side there is the code to show the three different reactions happy, sad, and scared, in LED lights. I have made three variables, again, happy, sad, and scared. In this first block, I tell my program what each of the three variables has to represent. If variable happy is active, then show these lights, a happy face. If variable sad is active, then show these lights. And if variable scared is active, then show these lights. Two. In the second block, we are going to tell our program when it has to show which facial expression. We do this with the aid of a sensor, that is here on the micro bit. And in the code, the block rotation is used for that. In short, it now reads, If the micro pet is standing upright, then show the variable happy. If the micro pet is askew, then show the variable sad. And if the micro pet is upside down, then show the variable scared. I have also added a pause block of 5 seconds with the last two. So if you put it upright again, the pet has to come to its senses and then it will be happy again. 3. The last block works on the on shake code. You may remember that one from the digital die. If you hang a skew with your micro pet, then show variable scared. And what that variable scared is exactly is described here. That's it. This, of course, is just an example. If you wanted to, you could give it a different facial expression by drawing a different mouth. Or you could add more different facial expressions variables. For the cat, you could add, for instance, a nose. Something like this. Now, let's first send this code to your micro bit. If you click on the link below, it will take you to the code editor where the script for your micro pet is ready for you.
Connect your microbit to your computer with a USB cable. Click on the download button and drag the file to your microbit. Now that the code is on your microbit, we can place it inside the paper body. Disconnect the microbit from your computer. Connect the battery pack. and place the micro bit inside the body of your pet. It should clamp itself in place, otherwise you just use a piece of tape. Fold over the top side and done. Your turn. Did it work? Super cool. Did it not work yet? Don't worry, just go back to the link of the code, download the code again, and place it on your microbit. See you at the next mission.